Hey everyone, uh, what I want to do in this quick tutorial is take the basic steps needed to run TypeScript through VS Code. So if you've never uh, written a line of TypeScript and you're just getting started for the first time uh, writing some TypeScript, uh, this is these are the steps that you'll need to to run TypeScript for the first time. Uh, so I'm going to do this kind of quick. Um, you can follow the steps. You don't necessarily need all the code, although I will link to the GitHub in the description. So I will make a folder on my desktop. It's an empty folder called TypeScript, and I'm going to open that with VS Code. So you will need to open an empty folder in VS Code. It's got no files in it. And then we're going to start with our HTML file called index.htm or index.html. With Emmet, we've got a Emmet abbreviation with an exclamation point and tab. You can feel free to type this out if you want to code along, but this is not necessarily the point. This is just a standard HTML5 template. And I'm also going to create an index.js file. Now, um, the reason I'm starting with the JavaScript, just vanilla JavaScript, uh, is TypeScript is considered a superset on top of, if you will, on top of vanilla JavaScript. Uh, so you can write vanilla JavaScript and put it in a TypeScript file and it will work. It, it is kind of compatible, if you will. Um, so what I have kind of here uh, is some vanilla JavaScript and you can see very standard variable definitions. Uh, again, you do not have to type this. This is available on GitHub if you want to pull this in. Um, but, you know, we've got a menu of uh, an array of objects, and then we've got a function to add a new pizza to our array. So we've got a function, we've got a place order function, uh, we've got a complete order function, and then we call our functions, place that order. So, you know, add some new pizzas, place an order. Uh, complete an order, which changes the status property to completed. And then we council log. Okay, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to get into TypeScript. Now, uh, as you are probably familiar with the script tag, uh, we need to link to our index.js. And uh, I always like to add the defer attribute. That's going to let the DOM kind of load first. Um, but nonetheless, this should just get us our blank document. And if we inspect that in Chrome, we got the console kind of refresh here. And you could see we've added a couple items to our array. Uh, we're printing out the console log of the cash register. And then we ordered a pizza and kind of some spitting some things out in the console. That's not TypeScript. We want to get into uh, TypeScript. In order to install TypeScript, uh, we are going to install it as a global dependency using NPM. And so we need to go to a terminal uh, and kind of install TypeScript on our machine using NPM. And I'll show you the full command. Now, in order for Node Package Manager to work, you need to have Node.js installed. Go ahead and download and install Node uh, long-term support. Download and install that. Once you download and install that and reboot Visual Studio, uh, and you want to reboot Visual Studio, that will allow you to go to a terminal window. If I kind of <clears throat> back out, you can see this terminal off of the menu. We're going to click on New Terminal. And the command is npm i, and you can kind of see the command back here npm install TypeScript. But I'm going to add one switch here, um, type script uh, slash g. Okay, now I've already done this. Um, and so I get a change message. You should get an install message. Um, if that command doesn't work for you, you want to do a node slash v. And you want to verify that you do get a node version back here. If not, uh, you need to, like I mentioned earlier, kind of reboot Visual Studio, um, kind of kill your terminal, start a new terminal, worst case scenario, reboot your computer. Okay, that should enable you to get in TypeScript. So step one, uh, install TypeScript. Um, 
Now we can create our index.ts file, and it's a, I'm getting a, uh, an icon here. It's one of my extensions. You might not get that icon uh, if you don't have the oh, icon pack that I have, which is VS Code icons. Regardless, that icon's not the important part, but to write TypeScript, uh, you put it in a .ts, and I'm going to copy my JavaScript here and paste it in my TypeScript. <clears throat> um, and right away, you will get some compiler errors. Now, um, when you when you get these errors, you know this is considered a good thing, right? You want compiler errors as opposed to runtime errors, and that's one of the major benefits of TypeScript uh, is giving you. Uh, compiler errors versus potential errors in the browser causing your script to uh, to crash and um, so we can kind of hover here and see subsequent variable declarations must have the same type complete order must be uh, type of order ID any but or okay before I take a closer look at these error messages, um, the next step to take to get this to run is we need a tsconfig file, tsconfig.json. And so these are compiler options. And so uh, the process that we're going to take is we're gonna take this .ts and we're going to compile this into vanilla JavaScript. And so the compiler options, if you will, are going to be in this TS config. And so uh, what this looks like is a JSON object, so JavaScript object notation. So you can see here we have one object in our TS config, and I'm setting my compiler options to recognize uh, ECMAScript 2015 or ES 2015, uh, basically the latest. Uh, uh, all the newest features uh, in JavaScript. So we're going to support um, all of the newer features and uh, we're gonna support the document object model so we can do things like console.logs because uh, we're working, we can work in the DOM. Okay, so um, as well as everything else that is the DOM. Okay, so I'm going to save um, that and you're going to notice that actually gets rid of uh, the, the various compiler errors that I was having. Now, um, the point of this is to get this up and running. Uh, the command now to compile, um, there is a TSC, uh, TypeScript compiler is the compiler, and index.ts. Um, however, this command straight does not use our TS config. And so um, that's why it says find does not exist on your array. So if I kind of go down to here, order Q is my array. Find is a method that belongs to the array type. And so uh, it's not really reading the support of ES 2015 that, that was released um, um, in that version or a subsequent version. Okay, so point is, uh, we're not gonna compile uh, with that command. Instead, uh, project TS config, we need to point our, uh, our TS config our project at that TS config. Now, just to show you that this will generate the subsequent JavaScript. Okay, and granted, I haven't I haven't done anything with types yet. Okay, but I will demonstrate that kind of here in a minute. But just to show you, the next step is to generate our index.js. So notice our script will always point at index.js. We are going to write TypeScript in a .ts file, then when we compile it, it creates our vanilla JavaScript, and then we link to our vanilla JavaScript. 
Okay, so again, really the benefit as I see it to writing TypeScript is it's going to give us um, compile time errors, many more compile time errors to help us fix errors that we might have later on in the browser um, at compile time. And so um, to start assigning types, you can start to hover now and you can see pizza object. Uh, is a type of any. Um, so what we can do here um, is we can define a custom type. And so I might come into my uh, TypeScript file and make my own type of pizza. And it's a JavaScript object and it takes the following shape. It's going to have an ID, a name, and a price. And it can kind of pick up the different pieces here. So now that I have a type of pizza, this is a data type that we've created. I can kind of go into here and it kind of uh, implicitly could tell the data type. Uh, so none of, none of the, this typing uh, is mandatory, but it does make your code more readable. Okay, so notice now on my function, I'm giving my, uh, my input parameter a very specific type. Okay, and so I can go into here, and again, the syntax is a little bit interesting. We can say, hey, this is a number, of course, this is a number, so on and so forth. So next order ID, if I were to, um, for example, complete order takes an order ID that is a number, that will be a lowercase number, and if I were to come down here and change that to a string one, you could see it's a strict number data type. I cannot pass it a string of any type, whether it's the number one or the letters O-N-E. Uh, it's gonna give us a compile time error. And so it's gonna, in my opinion, force us to write some cleaner code when, when you introduce types. It doesn't allow the Lucy uh, type system that is kind of built into JavaScript because uh, you know the language was built in whatever it was two weeks time. Um, so. I'm a fan of types. I'm a fan so far of what I've learned of TypeScript. I just want to show those steps on um, compiling TypeScript. And so we added all these TypeScript. It created an index.js. We linked to that index.js. And now functionality, haven't introduced any new functionality, but we get those benefits of TypeScript.